Hey everyone, we're back. So I got another IKEA video for you today. Me and Carla decided that we wanted to get the nightstands to match all the other furniture inside of our bedroom. So now we have the complete set and hopefully it's gonna look good. I mean, no reason why it shouldn't with like, you know, good solid theming and we like it. The brand we got from IKEA is the Hauga brand. I hope I'm not butchering that word, but it's got this cool little like cove and the top of all the furniture and it's really cool looking we like it a lot gonna take you on a nice little step-by-step -step building of the nightstand so like i said we got the hyuga brand uh we really like it this is also the color of the nightstand as well it's also the color of everything else we have in our room when i get together I'm going to give you a little peek of what it looks like inside of a room. Uh, it, it works pretty well. I like the way the other furniture looks, so these nightstands should fit right in. Alright, so here we are with all the pieces laid out, like normal. Pretty simple looking. Doesn't look bad at all. It's pretty simple looking. Nothing too extravagant going on here. It's just a one drawer nightstand and it's pretty short so it's not too heavy looking it's not too like bad looking to make one thing to point out is this one comes with the metal railing systems if anybody's seen our last video when we put together the little dresser drawer inside of the kids room it had these little plastic railings that were more like slides and I like that a lot better than this we already have a full set of this style of furniture so it makes sense to just continue doing it alright guys so let's get this together. Guys, first and foremost, you always, always, always look at the instructions. So first, we're gonna put together the side with the railings on it. Uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver for this, guys. Uh, I like using my detachable head one. It works really well for me. But yeah, just a simple one will work as well. So these are the railings, like I said, that you're gonna be putting on the sides, and here we go. So the two sides have the railings on it. Next thing we're moving on to is we're gonna be attaching one of the uh, bottom shelf pieces. Uh, it's got these little slidey things. And you gotta like click it into place. So let's do it. So there are two of these pieces right here. We're about to put the bottom of the shelf on for the nightstand. Make sure that you grab the one that doesn't have the little crevice indention on it for the bottom because the crevice indention one's gonna go on top. These are the little white plugs that you're gonna have to snap in. And then right here, if you can see, there are the holes. They have these little extensions into it because you're actually gonna have to snap it into place. I can actually apply a little bit of pressure and snap it into place. Just like that, a little bit of pressure and everything's in all right. So now we're gonna attach the top piece to it. Like I said, the little crevice piece, you wanna make sure it is on top. You wanna make sure it's facing this way on the nightstand. All right, now we're gonna attach the other side. It's gonna be a little bit easier, I feel like, because it's already gonna have the bottom and the top already there, so you can line it up a lot easier than having just one piece and applying the pressure to it. So this is the back piece. You want to make sure the brown side is facing on the back, of course, because you want to have the same color as the nightstand itself facing outwards, so it looks nicer. So it slides in right here and goes all the way up, sitting flush with everything. It looks great. So down here are the holes that you're going to have to connect it into the nightstand. As well as these holes, there are these other side holes that allow you to snap in stuff to secure the back as well. Basically stuff you can use that you don't have to use a hammer or screw for and that's pretty nifty to me. Uh, this is the ones that go in the bottom. You guys can see you got your thing that goes inside and then this is the one that like stretches out the, the pieces down here and secures it in tight. And then these 
are the ones that go on the side. They're these little half circle shaped pieces. This is the piece that opens up the back side of these as well and spreads out and makes it so they sit nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna attach the side plug pieces now. Just like that, back secure. Next thing we're attaching is this little bottom piece that like boxes in the front to make it look a little bit nicer. It also, I guess, helps serves as like a brace, a safety brace for the bottom of the nightstand. But I see it more as a cosmetic. Maybe not. I'm not a designer, so I don't know. But it just seems a little cosmetic to me. What we do for this is we just take these little dowel rods right here and we make sure we put it into this side right here, the ones that are very closer to each other than the, uh, the farther apart ones. This is the ones you want to use. So just like this. It plugs into the holes down here at the front of the nightstand. Now we're gonna put on the little like, like toe pads of the nightstand. We just have a long rectangular one. They sit right here. And then we have the uh, like Tetris block looking one. And it sits down here from where we just put the base brace part of the nightstand on. Now we got the uh, little little toe pads of the nightstand on. Now we're gonna attach the top back part of the nightstand. Same thing as the bottom of it, it's got these little holes for the dowel rods, but it has these other little circle pieces that you wanna make sure that are on the back of the nightstand. get to use these nifty security plugs again as well they go right here in the side of these really big holes it allows you to really secure everything in the place I like these I like these a lot I like not having to use tools all the time I mean it's fun to use tools but at the same time just like making things super simple and super easy also works good job Ikea Just like that, it's secured. I love it, guys. So simple, so easy. I love these little security plugs. All right, so now we're moving on to the drawer. As you can see over here behind me, all looking all good and whatnot. So once the drawer's in it, I'm sure it's gonna look amazing. All right, so now we're gonna assemble the drawer and they're calling for four of the little, like, plastic screw slash, don't know exactly what this like security thing is called I uh, I'm not the best with names and stuff I just know how to put stuff together because of instructions but it's calling for four of them so you place them here on the holes and you have another set over here as well So, little 
little nubby pieces all secured in tight. So once again, we got more little dowels we got to use. And we're going to attach the sides of the drawer now. So we're looking for pieces that look like this with the double in, the double little holes on it. These two right here. We want to make sure the double end holes attach to the piece of the uh, drawer we were already using. And we want to make sure the holes themselves are facing outwards as well. So to attach what we're about to have to attach, we got to switch over to a flat head. See, for the metal attachments that we already put on the front of the nightstand drawer. This is the piece that we're attaching onto, and they sit in right here, and they just you twist them, and it yanks everything together. So now we'll put the bottom on. You want to make sure the tan part is on the outside, of course, because, of course, like for the other part of the nightstand, you want to make the better looking side what you see the most of. So it fits in right here, like this. And then we're going to attach the back piece. That's the only other piece we have besides the other railings to finish up the drawer. You want to make sure the two circle sides are facing outwards, and you want to make, want to make sure that this as well is laying with the bottom of the drawer. And to secure in the back of the drawer, we have switched over to these fully plastic plugs. It's just really intriguing to me how many different attachments, like security attachments, that IKEA has for its like building design. I wonder why they just didn't use one or like two. I've used like 20, it feels like 20 different ones just for a very small nightstand. And for these as well, we get to use these fun little flathead screwdriver attachments to help secure everything in. So now we're gonna apply the railings for the sides to make sure your drawer can go in and out of its nightstand. If the dresser drawer is facing towards you on the ground, then the DL on the IKEA, like little metal piece here, you wanna make sure that it's going on the right-hand side, and then the DR is going on the left-hand side. And the metal rails are just getting attached with these little screws, that's it.
All right, so with the metal rails attached, the only thing left to do is to attach the knob on the front. What we gotta do to attach the knob is this little piece right here and this little screw right here. And we take the door, like so, and just put it together. And with that, the drawer is complete. All right guys, so as you can see, the nightstand is complete. It looks amazing. It's a little bit smaller than one we have right now, but minimalizing space is always a good thing. It also helps us control a lot of the stuff we have, so that's always beneficial. But yeah, we really like this design. One of the things I like about these brand or style of Ikea product is I like how it has this little like cavity shelf up top. Usually nightstands and dressers just have the top of it. It has these little sides that help keep things from falling off. I really like that. Alright guys so as you can see we got both of them up. This is mine over here. Stock full with video games. Don't judge me. I'm still got my nerdy tendencies. And then over here we got Carla's. A little bit more adult themed I guess you'd call it but yeah that's our new nightstands they look pretty good in our room I like it a lot and if we swerve over here if you guys remember if you watched any of our other previous videos that's our other part of the collection as well that's the dressers they look really nice and then this was that cool little like side dresser that we had to grab as well that we got right underneath our TV but yeah it works they look awesome. We like them a lot. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me on another IKEA building adventure. Uh, I know this isn't like a normal videos, but I have a lot of fun putting together like furniture and stuff that we buy, especially IKEA. I love IKEA. I know the running joke is IKEA's instructions are you know doo doo, but I find them really helpful. I like them. They're neat and they're easy to read. I don't know what everyone else is seeing. So expect a lot more IKEA videos from us in the future. But yeah, guys, if you ever have any questions about what I make, just put in the comments and I'll respond to it the best way I can. I might not know the answer to everything, but I'll at least try, you know. I'm always here to help if you guys want it. But yeah, guys, like always, like and subscribe. And hit the notification button to always know when we put up new content. And comment as well, do you like this brand of furniture that we've gotten from Ikea so far? Or do you have another favorite brand of furniture that you have that you put in your house? Let me know. I'll look it up. I'll see if I like it as well. All right, guys. Until the next adventure. Bye.